we spent uh, a year in discernment, uh, almost a year and a half. Um, we interviewed 12 members of the community um, in various areas from education, healthcare, um, again, folks who are focused on um, racial issues, um, housing. Um, and we also spent a year in surveying the various ministries um, at All Souls and gauging their interest as to where their passions lie and what areas that they lie and where they feel that uh, the most important work is needed. And, and that was the church community coming to us and saying, we want you, of all the things that we recognize that are problematic in Asheville, almost North Carolina, all the things that could be confronted, we've decided as a church community that we want you to focus, you as a group, we want you to focus on racial and economic equity. And the fact that that is what percolated to the surface, um, I think, is is was just inspiring. It was exciting. Um, it was it was reflective of the community that my wife and I joined very intentionally. Um, because then I think it's just amazing that that that's what came to the surface. We have uh, developed a number of uh, groups or committees that are concerned uh, with various areas again in housing, uh, childhood development. Um, uh, racial issues, uh, city county government, um, health care, mental health, um, and we'll be uh, going out into the community and engaging in various um, issues, activities, um, and helping people get involved and, and try to make a change. In it's easy to project all of our own biases and uh, stereotypes and fears and all of those things onto uh, these people that are not like us. And so it's comfortable just to walk on past. And, um, and I think what this process did for me in, in a lot of ways, and part of why it made me so uncomfortable at times, was because it really forced um, me to, to stare that person in the face and to hear from them about their story, um, to hear about their challenges and obstacles and all the things that I have just been taking for granted for so long. Um, and to really kind of stare that in the face 